Saturday morning, getting our junk together, gonna head out, hopefully get lucky like yesterday and hit a, get at least something to bugle first thing. Brian and I, we uh, we stumbled into some elk today. How do we, how do we stumble into those elk? <laughs> I went to take uh, poo number two for the day, and um, I bumped some elk. Didn't have my bow. Didn't have my pack. Didn't have my bino harness. Had baby wipes though. <laughs> so we kind of messed with them for a few minutes, and uh, I don't think we gave them a hard bump. So what we're doing now is. Since we, you know, the bugling's not really working out a whole lot, we're sitting here waiting. We're hoping that we didn't bump them bad and that they're going to go down in this drainage and in bed. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of wait until the thermals shift and then creep down in there and start bugling and see if we can't get the herd bull or any bull to come check us out. Heck, a cow. We'll go for a cow. So. So the, that's our plan right now. So we're doing some coffee, doing some, probably going to do some breakfast before we head down in there. I was thinking about it while I was over there handling some morning business. And uh, it's been some tough hunting and we're kind of discouraged. But realistically, I think we've been around elk every day. Every day. Yeah. Every day there's been elk. Usually they're running by us. <laughs> Chris still has not seen I've elk. not seen an elk. But you've heard them. I've seen them. These, those ones this morning were inside 40 yards easy, maybe inside of 30, but I could not see them between the slight roll in the hill and all this deadfall. It's really thick right in here. I mean, you can't see 20 yards hardly in here. Um, so that, that's our plan. That's our plan. Day four, we're tired. Ready to go home, actually. <laughs> yeah. And uh, if I could see one of these jokers, it'd probably help me out a little bit. But today's our last full day. We'll probably hunt our way out tomorrow morning. Um, do some calls and stuff on the way out. See if we get anything. But other than that, that's all we got right now. Yeah. The cameras are kicking my butt. They're dying all the time. The buttons are getting pushed when I go through the brush. And so that I find them turned on later. So then I run out of... SD card space. Some of that I can take care of, but some of the cameras I can't take care of without a computer. So they're killing my batteries. My battery pack, my spare battery pack is really for my phone because that's my map system and not for charging cameras that keep getting turned on accidentally. This camera I'm using right now is not my normal camera for this because the other one just flat died. I, it won't turn on, it won't turn off, it take the battery out, nothing. So once again, it's Struggleville for cameras and hunting.
All right, so it's Saturday just after noon, day four, and we're planning on leaving tomorrow morning. We're gonna do so today. We are not on anything. The only thing we were actually ever on was Ian's bull, Ian and Randy yesterday, after Ian struck up a bull first thing in the morning. Every, every other elk encounter has kind of just been by chance. And we really have not had anything answer us other than that one. So today it's gonna get up to probably the mid 90s up here. The nearest town is gonna be a high of 98. So even if on the off chance we were to shoot something, I think meat spoilage is not just a possibility, but, an, but a certain outcome. So we're gonna call it a, a hunt from here, go back to camp, pack up, head out, it's pretty much downhill from camp to the truck. And I think that's gonna wrap us up here. We got another one, so not giving up yet. Oh yeah, we got another hunt planned. Probably not gonna come here, but uh, definitely got another hunt planned. Definitely got more hunts planned. Brian and I will be back together in about a week and a half or so. Get back together uh, for another hunt. Until then, that's probably gonna do it. We'll close this out with some videos of us camping out or closing out camp. Probably some hiking down the trail and we're gonna be happy to see those vehicles. That is a fact. AC. AC. Yeah, we'll get to change clothes I at the smell, truck. I smell like uh, onions and anchovy pizza right now. I share a tent with him and I can attest to that. Everybody keeps making fun of me. Tell them how to smell. <laughs> they don't smell. You, you can stand your own smell. <laughs> Place is getting crowded. Right there's the yin and yang of Dodge 2500s. Glad to see them. A little fire and ice. Welcome back. It is now Monday, Labor Day, so it's been about two days since I got home. I got home late Saturday night from uh, hunting with Brian, Ian, and Randy. And uh, I'm heading out to Southern Colorado for just a day hunt. It's very smoky, so there's a haze in the sky blocking the sun, so it doesn't quite feel as hot as it actually is because the sun's not really beating down on you. But it is quite warm. It's going to be in the, the low 90s where I'm at. I'm fully prepared with ice and coolers. And if I were to actually get an elk, I'm, I should not be that far from the vehicle. So if it was going to be one of those things where I'm two miles from the vehicle, I probably just wouldn't hunt today because uh, of the meat spoilage issue. I'm going to the spot that uh, I was last year where I had a bull bugling, but I couldn't figure out how to get to him. Also in that spot was where I was set up where a, uh, a mesa kind of cliff face breaks and there was a good game trail there, but the, the elk actually came down about 200 yards from me. So I missed them that night. So I'm going into that area. Hopefully nobody else is there. And so that's the plan. That's what we're doing today. I thought maybe I'd do a day hunt later on in the week, but then I realized, ah, you know what? I can go today. It's Labor Day, so elk season's 28 days and you kind of got to make use of what you can. I don't feel like my legs are under me right now. I don't feel like I've fully recovered from those from the hunt with Brian, but uh, I shouldn't have to hike a whole lot. The problem will be if I actually get something, then I'll be then I'll be hiking. Then 
and it'll be worth getting through. But I don't quite feel like I got my legs under me, but this smoke is brutal. It's really, really windy out, very dry, and seems smokier than when I got here. I've only seen one set of footprints, and that was on my pinch point. So my assumption is that it's, it's too dry up here. I'm going to end up doing some calling sitting and calling and sitting and, and probably just end up finishing the night on that pinch point but this is why I couldn't figure out how to get over to that bull last year if you can see that that's what was between me and it that's why he wouldn't come to me and I couldn't figure out how to get to him but I kind of got it figured out now how to get over there followed those tracks around for a good ways and I realized they're, they're not that fresh. Any poop I came across wasn't fresh at all. The rubs that I came across, they weren't sappy or sticky or wet or anything. So those are probably at least several days old. They just look fresh. It hasn't rained down here in forever. So now I'm just posted up on this pinch point. And I'm going to sit here for about the last 90 minutes illegal. There was only one set of tracks going over. So it wasn't beat up like it was last year. So I think my odds are going to be pretty low. I don't think this area has any water. So I think the elk are going to be near water considering how hot it's been. Yesterday it was 100 down here. Day before it was about 100. It is dry, dry, dry. And smoky. Good lord. Can't even see the hills and stuff over there. All that smoke got it really, really dark really fast. I bugged out of there because I couldn't see through my peep at about 20 minutes till legal light was up. So I didn't see anything here on Labor Day. 